this is the lesson on text on Prezi design. Remember that in the previous uh, video or lesson, we applied the style that we created throughout the templates a series of videos. We choose a style for our colors, for our shapes, and also for our fonts, and we apply it by using our save font combination. Now, a word on working with any elements on Prezi, and that you will find more information if you refer back to the lesson on Prezi editing basics and get a refresher on the contextual menu, which is this one. Every time you select an element, you will get that this menu changes. If I choose a topic, I have different options than if I choose text, for example. So always remember the contextual menu and that you have the right click to do stuff. When you're not sure where is something, try the contextual menu and right click. The text manipulation on Prezi works pretty much like any other software. When you select your text, you can make modifications on the style, which is something that we choose when we created the font style for our theme. Go back to the lesson on template. We can choose the specific font. I suggest when you use the same font throughout the presentation, it's easy for you to replace the font by just replacing the font and updating the style. Okay. In this way, you are updating your font style. If you use the heading on title, subtitle, subtitle two, body and body two, where you can have usually a dark and a lighter font for different backgrounds, when you need to make a modification to the entire presentation, it's just about updating the style. Otherwise, if you only choose to update a part of the presentation fonts, then you need to manually change that if you want to update the style of the presentation. You can choose the font, and if you click on more fonts, you get access to Google Fonts. There is a lesson on Google Fonts, um, several ideas and hacks and shortcuts to choose your best fonts. When you choose a font, on uh, Google, it's adding it to the list of fonts available on Prezi. So if I choose this, this, and this one, I will update the fonts that are available on Prezi, and then I need to go back and choose one of the fonts that I just added. Like this one. We can decrease the size again. Be careful with this. It's better if you decrease the size of your title on your uh, font style through editing your theme rather than modifying just the size of this title. Those kind of changes are for specific sections. We will talk about that in a moment. I can increase the size. I can use bold. I can use italic depending on the fonts. The, some fonts come with the option of italics. Some fonts don't. So it's not about what Prezi can do, but the capabilities of the font that is being installed. I can choose the color of the font. Let's add some text. I can choose the color of the font. By using the skin colors, I'm using the colors that I set in this style when I created the theme for my company, my client, or my project. So by using the skin colors, I'm making sure that I'm being solid throughout the presentation by using the same colors again and again, instead of having a lot of unmatching colors. I can have a color for the background like this or this. I can. Avoid that. Also on colors, 
I can choose the opacity. So like a transparency, okay? So I can use a variation of the same color with a transparency filling for, for example, the title. The text on Prezi works on text boxes. So which is the area that I give the text to work on. If I keep writing, the text goes down because I'm limiting horizontally the maximum area that the text can use horizontally. If I go down, the text box expands. Otherwise, the text will disappear. Probably I want to use my logo instead of the words Teach Me Prezi there, which I can do with insert image. So instead of having this text, I'm probably going to have our logo here. I can also have bullet points. Deliver your best presentations ever make your best presentations ever present like a master if i use valid points this okay and this could be a quick explainer of the uh, presentation so this body text is too big so there is a two-way interaction with your theme. If I decide that this text is too big and I want to make it smaller, which is a body text, I have for this text box is body and I want to make it smaller, even smaller. And I say update style preset. I am telling Prezi, I'm telling the app that I want this size and style of font to be the default for the body font in the presentation. Okay, I'm updating the theme. We can use alignment. I don't like using bullet points, so if you don't mind, I'm going to get rid of them. Further on the, uh, the course, we will probably replace this text with icons or some visual metaphor. Let's go back to normal here. The indentation is the space between the left margin and the beginning of the text. If I increase the indentation, I will have a separation between the margin and the text. And I can have different indentations for different lines of my text or sentence. In this way, I can create, for example, a hierarchy of descriptions. Whenever I have a text box, I can also add them to my library. That means that I can reuse this element at anytime in any other presentation. There is a lesson specific on my library. I suggest you take a look. If you create presentations that often need the same kind of content or layouts or elements. So for now, we are going to get rid with, of this text box and also of this uh, description. This is our Prezi course. We're going to add this here. This is subtitle. Uh, I want to use a different font for the subtitles. I choose a different font for the subtitles. And if I click on it and I right click on my mouse, I can update the style preset. We will get to finding the perfect font as we go creating the presentation, depending on the content and depending on what we are actually doing. For now, 
let's choose this secondary font. So we have two different fonts. Uh, we can differentiate them and also make a decision of what is the font that we want for secondary titles instead of the body and so on. 